It looks as if you've changed the wing. Never mind got the dance. <laughs> I haven't changed the wing. No, definitely not. A lot of uh, hammering and pushing that's, and. That's absolutely yeah. fabulous, mate. Really, yeah, yeah. look at that. Yeah. Have a good, have a good look from all different yeah. angles. I can't see them anymore. From, from that side, if you like, have a look. Yeah, that's brilliant. Hello, thanks for checking out this video. I have got a surprise for you and it is on this Skoda Superb. Look at that. So I'm gonna repair this with the paintless dent removal methods. No painting, no filler. So I'm gonna get straight into this, take the arch liner out, look for access, get the tools out and start fixing it. So grab a brew and enjoy. Here is the damage and I'm going to explain to you in a bit more detail what it's all about. So I've used two pens just so we can see it a bit clearly. Um, how did the damage happen? Well, it was a deer strike. So a deer jumped out of the side of the road, straight over the bonnet and kicked the uh, wing as it went over. So we've got two points of impact there and they're quite bad or they look quite bad. Okay. This panel is a steel panel. If I use a magnet on there, it sticks. Okay, so it's better for me to repair this than it would be an aluminium panel. We've got multiple hits, as I've just said, all the way around here. Okay, body line damage. So the main areas of damage on the body line are here and here, because this line is the body line. But we've also got a secondary body line, which is a bit further up, and that's where a crown is, but it's also depressed here as well. Is still part of a, a dent there. Uh, kinks to the panel edge. This panel edge is the weakest part of the panel. It's at 90 degrees. If that shape differs at any point, so if it, bul if it bulges out or goes in, it's going to make it weaker and also the paintwork might also crack on there. So this is the weakest part of a panel. The strong areas are the crowns and high creases. So this is where the wing the panel has been bolted to the car and it just will not budge. Again here as well, you'll probably have some screws there. Uh, the crowns, this is where all the tension in the panel is. So again, when the panel's gone in, it's had to flex somewhere. Then when the, when the panels also flex back out, it's just left these bulges and that's where the tension is. These bulges need to be tapped down as I'm pulling the dent out and that releases tension and helps me fix the dent. Right, I'm going to wipe all this off and uh, get started with the repair. Okay, I've just warmed up the panel and using a tool like this, double bend screw tip bar, I'm gonna pop it onto the moose knuckle and just get it onto the lowest part and that's the part where the, where the paints come off. Get it onto the back there, got the location. Just could put my finger, sorry, just could put my thumb on the panel edge just, just to support it and then just start lightly pushing. <laughs> Didn't take much did it? Let's see if I can get onto that deeper bit here with the uh, I've got a rubber tip on there can you see it there you go rubber tip onto the deepest part which is now here thumb on there right I'm gonna have a closer look okay that was uh, nice but most of it popped out so I'm just gonna leave this bit for uh, for a few minutes and go on to this one if I can kind of get the shape of the panel, then I can go back and just keep going over and tapping bits down, pulling them out. So I'm going to go on to this bit next. I'm going to warm the area up and tap down the, the crown at the top. This should, again, release the tension, and then I can go right in the centre where it meets the body line and lift it up. Right, so I'm going to start off with the, uh, the flat nose knocked down first. It's coming out nice, laying down nice. Just a bit more heat there. And just 
swap onto the cherry cap knockdown. So this crown is gradually reducing um, to a point where I can get the bar in there and it should be easier to lift out that low part. There's still a lot of work to go with this though. Lovely. Right, let's get a bar on there. Okay, so I'm using the bar again and I'm going to be using a soft cap with a lot of tether tape on there. Okay, so it just softens the blow, the push. Okay, screw it on there and get back into the panel. Again, I just need more heat on there. All these dents need a bit of heat just to start off with. Yeah, here we go. Bit noisy today, the, uh, the old door is uh, rattling. It's not Santa Claus just yet. It's December though. So I've got my thumb on the, uh, the panel edge, the panel lip, sorry. Just holding it. To be fair, this is still very, very locked up. Um, so I might change my tactic in a second. Just move this onto the loose knuckle a bit. A different setting. That ain't moving. <laughs> Back in with a hammer and knock down. Let's open this dent up. I think it needs it. All right then. I'm gonna pop the Plastic soft cap on there now. Give it a warm up. I'm not going to go as mad as I did a minute ago um, because I'm kind of walking on eggshells with this one. So I'm just going to gently see what happens here. Using that, that's a bad idea, I think. Okay, I've decided to uh, use the fender pliers so for this one. Just didn't feel confident with the bar trying to push and hold the lip at the same time, um, and I'm quite concerned that the paintwork might crack as well. So I'm going to warm it up yet again using the soft cap on the. Uh, fender pliers and I'm just going to try and carefully nibble away just lift up this the deepest part once this bits up I can get back onto the bar and uh, it should come out very nicely but um, I only got one chance at this so I need to get it right okay here we go I think I prefer it to be an aluminium panel <laughs> In a steel panel. Bloody hell. So, what I've done here is knocked it in a lot further than what it should be to try and open up the, the dent. Okay, so it looks uh, pretty rough at the moment. Just going to get the um, fender pliers in there again, just try and lift it out. If not, I'll keep whacking it in with the knockdown. Back in, same tip, back in. Let's just see if, uh, see if it'll move a little bit easier. Hmm. 
it's kind of moving. <laughs> I thought this one was going to be the hardest one, not that one. Just that tiny bit there. If that bit comes out, then uh, I'll have all this done in half an hour. Okay, I finally had a bit of movement from the uh, body line area using those fender pliers. So I'm going to get my video, my camera back in there. Let's have a look. There you go. Can you see that there? Excellent. So going to warm it up a bit more and hopefully get the rest of it out now. It takes a while for this to warm up. It takes a while for me to warm up as well. It's freezing today. It's uh, sleeting, hailstone, a couple of degrees, windy, rainy, horrid. See what happens. <laughs> Ooh, that went. So did my heart. So I always have to check the tip of the, uh, the plastic cap just to see if it's not worn through because I'm warming the panel up, plastic gets a bit softer when it's warmer and all that pressure on the back, um, it's touching the back of the panel all the time so it could get warm and then push through. If it pushes through it's metal on metal and uh, that might not be so good for this, pushing this horrid little dent out. It's uh, moving a lot better now, which is good. Okay, the thing is with, uh, with, with silvers as well, they tend to bruise quite easily. So um, what you're looking at now, you see all those uh, lights and darks. So that's what we need to try and avoid. This has popped out a little bit, so um, there needs to be a lot of work on these uh, crowns in these high areas here. These need, these need tapping down and then bl uh, blending out, and that's what will release all the tension. But um, yeah, that was hard work to get that out. Keep nibbling away. So if we have a look from a different angle, you can see that it's low all the way through here, and then it's a bit ugly around here. Okay, so there's a lot more to it than you can really see from here. So I need to lift up the damage underneath the body line, um, and knock that crown down there. So that's holding in the tension, and uh, that's not doing me any favors either. Okay, so this has been a bit of a pain. I've not really started and it's already putting up a struggle. Um, God knows how this is gonna react. So um, I've managed to lift up the, um, the deep center just underneath the body line here. There's still a whole load of everything going on here. So I'm gonna get some clamps onto this edge, warm it up and just try and uh, straighten the bottom part of the lip because this will add more strength to the panel and then I can go back in and just pick a few areas up. Um, and then go on to this one. The tools I'm using here to reshape the panel lip edge are a set of panel beating clamps. The clamping end is at a 90 degree angle which helps me get them under the arch. 
and also a pair of gooseneck pliers. To straighten the bends in the panel I'm also using a rubber mallet but I'm going very careful with this. This can be a tricky part of a repair because the panel lip is often a small area and the paint is so brittle that when you start to clamp and bend the area the paint could crack so plenty of heat is needed. This is finally levelled up now. It's not 100% but it's pretty much there. That took me about an hour to do. In the end I jumped onto a very 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 sharp um, screw tip. So that's like a needle point. And also I was tapping down the, the painted side with a polished knockdown. So these are for like fine detail, uh, for, for fine tuning and picking real tiny bits up. So using the sharp tip, I've also shrunk it as well in this area. So I'm happy with that now. Um, there's a crown here. I'm going to tap this bit down because I think that has played a part in why this has been so hard to fix. This dent, I'm a little bit worried about because the paint's already damaged. Any kind of movement and flex is always going to make the, the paint that's loose um, looser, if you know what I mean. It's just going to start to peel away from the, from the metal. Also, I can't warm it up as hot as I was this one because I'll start to burn the flaky paint. So, um, yeah, I've learnt my lesson on that one. I hope this one uh, is a bit quicker to fix. So I'm going to tap this area down now and, uh, and go from there. out then okay I've just swapped the direction of uh, repair I'm going to repair this um, high crease as well just take the tension out of that um, just to give me as much um, flexibility in this dent as possible so again going through my tap downs for the blunt one and the cherry cap um, start off with a blunt one first move a lot of metal and then if once I start fine tuning it I can go down to a cherry cap Okay, here goes this dent, and I'm actually quite nervous. <laughs> I hope it fixes all right. <laughs> Back in with the heat. Gotta go careful, like I say, because if I get the paint, the, the um, get a fractured paint too hot, it will start to burn. And I'm just gonna go straight in with a plastic soft cap. There you go. To be honest, I'm not looking forward to this dent because the last one was so strong, especially with the paint being compromised on the body line. Again, I don't feel comfortable using the bar, so I've swapped to the fender pliers because these have so much torque and power and it's isolated within a small push area. Unlike the bar, which will lift up the full panel area and that's what I don't need. Doing that could blow out the panel lip and give me more headache. If you look at the centre of the tool where the gap is, you'll see that the damage has been lifted up. The tip on the underside is doing a great job at bringing this dent up. All the time I'm aware of the potential stress I could be causing to the broken paint area. I don't want this to get any bigger if I can help it. So it's actually coming along pretty well. Um, there's just a, a tiny crack start, started to appear there. Just gone up slightly and then gone to the left. Um, I kind of knew that had happened, and it, that is just what happens when, when the paintwork's been compromised. Uh, nothing I can do about it, but um, my customers 
obviously aware of the uh, the mark and uh, it will be touched in and weatherproofed. Anyway, let's get back into it. Going to pull the top out now. Uh, and there's a bit around here as well, look at that. There you go. I get asked all the time if a repair can be carried out even though the paint's cracked. The damage is assessed on an individual basis and I'll always recommend having the damage repaired conventionally, filler and paint. But yes, absolutely, I can repair the damage with paint issues. The areas can be touched up once the repair is finished. It all depends on what the customer wants and is happy with. Back in again with uh, another plastic bullet tip. I'm just going to use a hand support as well. So this goes on the tyre like that and then you can lever off it. Just saves the hand from being crushed from the force of the bar when you're pushing, pushing against the tyre. Your hand is usually in the middle. That's what gets all the uh, all the pressure and breaks your bones. Well, don't make them look pretty anyway. With the help of my reflection board, you can see the detail in this repair. Where the dark lines knit together means that the area is high, and that's from me pushing with the bar from the inside. I'll need to go over this area with a knockdown and lower these and blend the panel back into shape. But the main thing is, this dent is coming out and it's coming out a lot better than the previous one. Okay, again, I've just turned direction of repair. I've got onto a sharper tip, another sharper tip, because this is looking really good now. Oh, it's, sorry, it's not looking really good. It's looking good, um, and I'm winning. That's the main thing. So I just need to finally pick a few areas up. And again, using this sharp tip, it also shrinks the metal as well. I've caught all the action in a time lapse as the fine tuning of the damage can take ages. Basically, I'm going over the area multiple times using the same sharp tip and knockdowns, progressively ironing out the small lumps and bumps until there's virtually no sign of any ripples and at the same time being aware of the paint damage on the body line minimising any further paint damage around the cracked area. Okay, I've uh, spent a couple of hours on this. That's why I had to do a, a bit of a time lapse on there. I've managed to get this bottom bit pretty much there. So I'm using the really sharp screw tip and also a polished knockdown. So I'm going to get back into it, but I'm nearly there. And uh, wow, what a transformation. I've been looking back at the before pictures and uh, yeah, it's like a different wing. Just a shame about the paint, really, but there's nothing you can do about it. Blame the deer. I'm on the final stages of this repair now, going over the full panel and the rear dent, tweaking the last of the ripples out and also finishing off the panel lip. If you've enjoyed this video, the way I explain the procedure and watching me repair this Skoda wing, please consider giving this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions about this repair, then feel free to leave yours in the comments below. A few more taps, looking good. I'm just going to check it with a quality control disc. Looking good from that, that direction. Let's have a look from this one. Spot on. Okay, Dennis, let's have a look. Cheers, mate, thank you. Here's your car. There you go, what do you think? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Is that all right? Yeah, have a good it look at it. It looks as if you've changed the wing. Never oh. got the dense <laughs> I haven't changed the wing. No, definitely not. But a lot of uh, hammering and pushing. That's, and That's absolutely yeah. fabulous, mate. I can't see anything. Come, come outside if you like, have a look. Yeah, that's brilliant. So, unfortunately, it was just this little bit that's that was from the accident where 
what hurts it? Was it a deer? A deer. A deer, yeah. yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear, yeah. <laughs> well, it tasted nice. What a rain <laughs> What a reindeer, was it? No. No, okay, so Santa's not missing one. No, he's, he's alright, he's alright. That's brilliant, mate. Look at that, even from any angle I'm looking. Yeah, yeah. I cannot see anything. Excellent. Excellent, mate. That's absolutely fun. I'm really, really good with that. Good stuff. That's great. No worries. Thank you very much. All right, lovely. Cheers. Thank cheers, you very much. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. All right, cheers. Right, I'll get it off a ramp and I'll let you get going. So you've got a bit of a drive ahead of you, haven't you? I have, mate. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I have. Good effort. But I'll yeah. tell you what, it's well worth the drive up here, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Thank you. thank you very much. Right. Thank you. I'll pop you back in the reception. Okay, that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching until the end. I really appreciate it. I'm Martin Seller from Dent Remover. Cheers.